Today is a very, 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 very bad day in the affiliate marketing world. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I have some bad news. Now, today, one of my businesses literally has lost most of its income overnight while it's going to be losing most of its income. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. It's really bad. And if you don't know about this, you are going to find out how bad this could be for you if you are uh, in this business or you're actually doing this business model with Amazon. This is really bad. And in my opinion, it's a very bad move from them, but it's strategic. So, you know, it is what it, what it is. And we're going to be talking about this in this video. This is kind of just a news video, just in case you haven't heard of this already and you don't know what this is. This is important. You need to know this because it could save you money. Okay, if, you, if you're going to start this business. Now, if you don't know what Amazon is, guys, it's a platform um, where people, um, people actually um, do a thing called Amazon Affiliates. And they can go and create a website based on Amazon products. So like chainsaw reviews, best chainsaws and things like that. And when someone clicks that link and goes to Amazon and makes a purchase, this person gets a percentage of the sale. So they make money. It's called affiliate marketing. It's a really good way to make money online. And a lot of you guys already know how that works. And here is another example. Most people um, actually have affiliate links in their YouTube video descriptions. Uh, so this video here, best cameras for 2019, he's listed all of the best cameras and they link to this page here. And he gets a commission when someone purchases this product. This is standard affiliate marketing. Well, the problem is, and this is a huge problem, Amazon just killed the commissions. They lowered the commissions dramatically. And this is actually an old article from 2017. So in 2017, two years ago, uh, three, two, three years ago, they dropped the price. But they actually dropped it again today. And this is, this is completely savage of them to do it again. They did it again today. Amazon reportedly planning um, drastic cuts to affiliate commission rates starting next week. Rates are being cut for a number of affiliate products. Now I'm going to show you how much the rates have been cut by guys and you're going to be amazed. It's crazy. It's pretty much a useless platform at this point. So I have some affiliate marketing uh, websites that promote Amazon products. We do quite well from Amazon uh, affiliates, but not. it's not my main income source. Uh, I pretty much the entire websites are nearly worthless to me now. And we were actually about to sell one and as soon as the person found out about this, they pulled out of the deal. So essentially what they've done is they've taken some um, products from 8% down to 3% and a few down to 1%. And I'll show you a graph in a minute of actually each one. And then another article here, Amazon will cut affiliate rates for its affiliate program starting April 21st. And we'll talk about why they're doing this in a second. Now, I'm not um, doing this video to bag on Amazon or anything. It's still a great company. Uh, it's still going to be probably good to promote their products. But I just want to let you know, just in case you plan on starting an affiliate um, Amazon and things like uh, website and stuff like that, the best way to promote Amazon products is via websites and via YouTube videos because that's the best way that they convert. Um, so that's the news. They're cutting their commissions. And some people in the description will be like, I told you, Franklin, this platform sucks because people tell me all the time. So back in the day or before they changed it, uh, and, and by the way, they changed, this is the 2017 to 2020, um, you know, uh, 2000, sorry, I don't have a pen, 2017 to 2020. And now they're changing it again. So we have furniture, 8% down to three. We have... Uh, headphones and beauty down to three from six. We have outdoors and, and tools down to 3%, which is terrible. We have um, this one down to, uh, that's not listed. Most of them are down to three, well, they're all down 3% or lower. That's crazy, 3% or lower. Now, let's kind of do some math so you can understand if it's worth promoting these products uh, you know, in the future. So this is based off the old 8%. Now this could be actually under the 5.5%, um, but I don't even actually know because I don't promote chainsaws. It, I think it's in the lawn and garden section. So what has got 8%, it doesn't really matter. You'll see the dramatic change anyway. That's the point of this. But at 8%, 
you would make $11 per sale and $20 per sale on these price points. And then at 6%, obviously, you would make around about 2% lower. So it's not that much of a difference anyway. However, now one sale is $4.49 is what you would make and $7.77. That's a massive difference. So if you wanted to make around about $1,300, you'd need to sell 300 of these. Uh, and if you want to make $2,000, you'd have to sell 300 of these. Now, granted, you're not going to be just promoting one product. And Amazon does have a very good recommendation uh, kind of like um, system where they recommend products. So Amazon commissions can stack up quickly. Amazon is very good with that. And if you have multiple products on your website, like this one here, then you're not just, you know, I'm, I'm not basing this off that, you, that this is all you're going to make. You're obviously going to make a lot more. I'm just comparing it with the old one for you. So in a nutshell, the commissions are a lot less and you're going to have to sell a lot more products to even make Amazon Associates viable for you. And what I'm and to, to actually make good money now, you're going to have to have a lot of traffic. So these are some of the sites that I'm aware of. This one gets 200,000 views per month. This one also gets around about 200,000 views per month. These are the type of numbers you're going to have to get to traffic wise to even make Amazon worth it for you. And this took a year, sorry, two years. And this took three years to get to that point. Um, and then we have this one here, which is one of the big daddies, 5 million views per month. Now this website is actually um, the wire cutter. So this is pretty much, I would say the biggest Amazon um, associate website in the world. It sold for $30 million. Um, so if you, you basically, you know, the best string trimmers. So when people click on these, um, it goes to the platform, okay, the Amazon platform, right? That's that's um, the the Amazon Associates um, how it works. Oh, and sorry, so they go to Amazon and make money. I don't know if, even if this is Amazon, it might be something else. So they're actually linking to Home Depot. So you know what I mean? Like people are actually going away from Amazon. These are the types of traffic numbers you're going to have to really hit to make it worth your while, okay? Um, so should you still promote Amazon Associates? Yes, if you have a lot of traffic, like we just talked about. Not if you are a beginner, because really it's just it's it's not worth it. If you're a beginner, you have to build up an Amazon associate website or a YouTube channel or something when there's much better ways to make money with affiliate marketing. Them lowering their commissions is it sucks, but all you need is more traffic to make more money, if that makes sense. But I think in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I think Amazon will eventually phase out their affiliate program altogether. Why? Because they're a corporate company that are dominating the e-commerce space. They don't need affiliates. So eventually it would probably make sense to either lower the commissions more to like 0.5% maybe, even lower than that. Because it probably makes sense to actually keep the affiliate program going. Because um, if, you, if they took it away completely, people would just delete their Amazon sites, right? Or they would use other um, affiliate, affiliate networks like these guys have, um, Home Depot, or I don't know if Home Depot has one. But what I think is eventually they might phase it out completely. Hopefully they don't. But at the very least, they will definitely, I think in the next two or three years, lower the commissions more. Okay, they will because they don't need affiliates. They have a moat around them. No one can touch Amazon. They are literally untouchable when it comes to e-commerce. They are the biggest. It would be extremely hard for them to lose money to anybody. There's hardly any competition out there. Um, but on the good side, Amazon still knows how to convert buyers. Um, they are the best at it. And what I mean by that is they have such a good structure that converts customers into buying more stuff. They have a good recommended system. They have um, a good system where people just keep buying stuff and building up that cart. So if someone goes and buys this chainsaw, they might add 10 more things to the cart or five more things. And all of a sudden, that $7, one $7 sale commission that you make is $20 or $15, right? It, it, it goes up. Amazon is very good at doing that, upselling people on more products by recommending more products to them and stuff like that. In my opinion, if you already have an Amazon website, keep it going, keep it building. If you're already getting sales, we're probably going to do that with some of ours. However, I'm just a little bit pissed off because we were about to sell one and the value of that uh, website's just gone down dramatically. Someone actually pulled out of the deal. But if you still have an Amazon website, keep going. If you're going to start one, I probably wouldn't be starting one. So what should you do? I have a website I will leave up on the screen that will take you through the best ClickBank alternatives. Now, I reckon ClickBank is probably one of the best alternatives to Amazon. And I do actually mention Amazon in this video, but there are affiliate marketing networks you can check out. 
um, in case you want to go and find other affiliate marketing pro products to promote. Now, I don't think there's anything that's remotely similar to Amazon in there, but you can go and check it out. However, I just think it sucks that Amazon's lowered their commissions. Hopefully, you guys haven't lost a lot of money. And if you want some more tutorials and tips on how to actually make some money with affiliate marketing if you're a beginner, I'll leave some videos up on the screen like I mentioned. Don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, leave a comment below. I just want to give you guys a bit of a heads up in case you haven't seen this, that Amazon has lowered their commissions.